Hey everyone, I hope you all had a happy and safe Halloween. Today's going to be a review, and it's of the EOS lip balm that everyone is talking about. And I don't know where the whole talk originated from, but I know that I've seen tons of the people that I've I'm subscribed to, the videos are about it, and everyone's talking about them. So these are the EOS Lip Balms, which stands for Evolution of Smooth, and they're kind of a funky shape, as you can see. They're kind of like an egg, and if you open it up, it's like that, and it's just like a lip balm. And I got this in Lemon Drop, which has an SPF of 15, and it's the only one that does. I, If you just go on the website, you just type in your zip code, and it'll tell you what stores near you have them. These are drugstore items, so I got mine at CVS, but there were tons of places around me that had them, so more than likely you'll have one near you. And I was really surprised when I found them because they were kind of tucked away and I'd never seen them before. And, of course, I wanted to try it because everybody's been trying it, and I believe they're like $3 and something, so they're really not that expensive at all. They do come in sets as well, and those are um, a little bit more expensive, but it's really not bad. Um, unfortunately, this is probably going to be a negative review in some aspects, so I just wanted to pre prepare you for that. So let's start with the packaging. The packaging is really cute. It's really original. Um, it like is flat on the bottom, so you can like sit it down or something. And you know, it's just a dome of lip balm with a screw-on lid. Very easy to open and close, very nice packaging, very sturdy. I don't think it's going to break anytime soon. Um, what I don't like is the dome. It's a little big. It's like you're putting it over your lips or it's just kind of awkward for me. Um, the smell is really, really great though. I really love the smell. It's really like a... Um, if you guys ever had lemon heads, I think that's what they're called. I had them when I was little. They're those like, little candies. They're like lemon and you like suck on them and they kind of get chewy and awesome they were really good um they smell exactly like that and it really reminded me of that um it kind of you know if it gets in your mouth it doesn't have a bad taste or anything um i like the smell and everything and when it is on your lips it feels really really awesome um the thing is it really dries out my lips and it doesn't stay on for very long and i've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I'm really not impressed with the consistency of it. Um, it's a very smooth balm and you would think that it would moisturize your lips but it doesn't. It just kind of coats them and it just kind of sits there. It doesn't really sink in. And I know a lot of people say that these are really awesome and they are for like the cuteness factor or you know for just throwing in your purse but I really don't think it's that good of a product. I think I would get a better use out of a stick of chapstick. Um, I would compare these if you've ever used soft lips. Soft lips make my lips really, really dry. And I feel that these are the same kind of consistency as that. And they have the same kind of feeling. Like, it's not exactly oily. But it's kind of like a little bit grainy. Not grainy, but it just kind of sits there. And it it's really weird. I don't really like it. But the smell is really nice. And if you're just looking for something to kind of slap on, it works. But I would not repurchase. And everyone's like, oh, it's, you know, so inexpensive, blah, blah, blah. But it is still $3. And if, you know, you're not going to use it or it's a bad product, why would you even spend $3 on it? So I would pass on these. I'm happy I at least got one and got to try it. Um, if you see one in your drugstore, you know, if you want to try it out for yourself, try it out. But I personally wouldn't recommend it. Um, and I haven't tried any other products and this is the first thing that I've tried so I can't say like maybe the other ones are different maybe this is different because it has the SPF in it maybe I mean that could totally be it because the other ones don't so um, let me know your thoughts on these if you have tried them and what you think of them um, like I said I really wouldn't reproach and I really don't know what else to say because that kind of ends the whole review I didn't like them end of story I guess but I just wanted to let you guys know because there is so much hype about these but really I don't really think they're worth it like buy a stick of cherry chapstick like that's been my favorite since I was like five and like the Olsen twins said that they used it so I bought like a million of them so <laughs> ever since then I've been in love with cherry chapstick but definitely definitely um let me know what you think of these if you've tried them and let me know if the SPF has anything to do with the consistency and they also make me that's really flaky and like really gross anyway done with the review. So I hope you guys have a really awesome week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.